All right, you guys, it has been a really great weekend. You guys are gonna see a lot of different things you can learn from, from these sales. So I have some interesting jewelry pieces, shoe pieces, I actually sold scarves, belts, and, and I just die. This is so stinking adorable. Little pottery guy, what does it say? Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel, AKA Lilyworks, and this is a reseller channel. And we have a what sold over the weekend video going out. Let me tell you, this is a good video this weekend, yay. And I wanna start off by thanking those Patreon members. Thank you guys so much. And I'm going to give do another giveaway, a random, <laughs> random giveaway. I'm probably not going to do one every week, but I have a lot of stuff. I can just give it away. So, uh, congrats to the person who, I think it was Marissa, who won last week. Thank you to all my Patreon members. It really helps the channel, especially when it's small and, like, barely making any money, <laughs> to be honest. But, um, yeah, Patreon, it, uh, I also uploaded a bunch of things that are helpful to as resellers. You might have seen me post it in the Facebook group. I have a keyword, um, a list of keywords that you can use for your listing jeweler. Honestly, it's a huge, huge list of keywords that um, I think would really help beef up your jewelry uh, titles. And I also put in like a motivational goal tracker and we also have the jewelry makers marks thing in there. But yeah, so if you want to join the Patreon, I will have the link down below. And I'm going to draw another winner. So of course we still have the ruby and opal necklace. That is a gold tone. We You can choose. Back like over a year ago, I had done the, this giveaway in a whatnot sale and I've given away several of these. This one says, thanks for always liking my post, which I thought was very appropriate and it still is. So this can go out to a Patreon member if you choose this one. So this one, this one, um, you already saw this one last week. It's a set, a necklace bib necklace set. That one, or it is a size eight and a half Avon ring and it kind of has like a citrine tone right there and it's lovely and just really nice so you can pick one of those and we'll see who the winner is all right i have my box with more names in it now so let's see i'm not going to look oh, all right what are who are you we have sarah Hilton. So Sarah, go ahead and contact me on Patreon or email me at lilyworksreseller at yahoo.com with your address and I will get that out to you. And thank you very much. Let me know what you pick. And let's get on to what sold this weekend. All right, you guys, it has been a really great weekend. You guys are gonna see a lot of different things you can learn from, from these sales. So I have some interesting jewelry pieces, shoe pieces, I actually sold scarves, belts, and you guys, I have some hard goods going out. So a lot of really interesting, interesting pieces for this video, and of course, we are starting with jewelry. So, Let's get into this bundle first, okay? You guys might recognize that piece right there. I just purchased it recently, but this bundle was purchased on Poshmark for $64.80. So basically, um, this buyer has been a repeat buyer from to my store. I'm not sure if it's a, a subscriber or not, but they were buying from my Poshmark store before I think I even had YouTube, so... <clears throat> I don't think it is, but basically they will just bundle like three or more things sometimes and then just get the bundle discount um, automatically, like it's a 20% off Poshmark bundle discount, and then they just purchased it. So it's like a little woohoo sale. They don't send me an offer. It's really, really nice. So this is a really nice bundle going out. It totally looks colorful. We have like an 80s theme going on. Okay, so this is the West Germany piece right here. I love this jeweled box clasp with these 
um, lucite, briolette, like, ne um, beads on this necklace. I think it's a double strand. This one I paid $10 for, and I think I had it priced at like $39.99 or something like that. Um, so this one was priced up, and it's old, so yay. These are so fun. Look at these fun, fun earrings. And these pair nicely with this very bright, colorful, I'm thinking 1980s, maybe 90s, maybe like into the 90s a little bit with those fun retro looking colors. So yeah, this whole bundle sold for $64.80. My cost of goods for everything was $13. Here is that Zara necklace. This looks like nothing in the bag, but you guys will be able to see it on the screen. It totally reminds me of like Heidi Doss. Heidi Doss jewelry uses this um, color of gold. It's like an antiqued gold tone and a lot of crystals. So this one is a very colorful rhinestone dangle bib necklace with birds in this one. I purchased for $10 at the antique store. I Google Lens these, bought two, and thinking maybe they're Heidi Doss, they're actually Zara, and they're a pretty desirable Zara piece. This one sold for $50 on Poshmark. This one sold right away. I was, I love it, but I was like really like, oh, is someone gonna be able to find it using keywords? So I did my best in the title and it actually sold within hours. So yay for that. It is a ginormous faux pearl, dimensional. I don't think I put modernist, but it kind of looks modernist. Matte gold tone, very long pendant necklace, sold for $22 and I paid 50 cents at the flea market. These I picked up in the $2 antique bin where I get to go through the jewelry and I paid $2 a piece well, for whatever I find. I love these end caps right here. Um, I just love that colorful cabochon glass and you can even see it's kind of like a little blue flashlight almost. I love that look, especially in men's jewelry. It does well. And a lot of times these will be like gold filled or even like gold or rolled gold. It usually says it on the inside. These are just gold filled, I believe. And these sold for $19, paid two. All right, he, here's a bundle going out. I don't think it's a subscriber, but if you're a subscriber, just let me know. Um, This is a bundle of three, okay? So these, I think, are all sterling silver. So this is like a little onyx hook right there. And this one I had in my own inventory, so I, I paid up for this one. But then I also um, sold it with my collector's price. So you see that moonstone in there. It's throwing the light like labradorite, that little flash inside. I love that look. These are also sterling silver. And then these were the find of um, the bundle, I guess. These I only paid a dollar for in a shop good a lot, but these turned out to be, let's see, all wand Vahan. And I, all right, so I did just look it up. All wand Vahan, okay? So this is tested sterling and spinel. I'm wondering if you guys would be able to see the maker. It's just like an A connected to a V. Maybe I can put it up on the screen and I might have put it in the maker's mark file. So I did put the maker's mark file in the Patreon group. If you're not um, in the Facebook group, if you don't have a Facebook, um, if you are a Patreon member, you will be, you'll be able to see the sterling, or I'm sorry, the uh, jewelry maker's mark file that I have linked there. So anyways, this uh, jewelry maker, it, that's not the name of the jewelry maker. I think it's like Leon or something like that. He is a French designer and they sell this, um, this jewelry. It's like a more modern style jewelry in different, uh, just jewelry stores. I thought maybe like QVC or HSN, but it's actually goes into like more high end fine jewelry stores. So yeah, these are lovely. If you like higher end 
more modern looking jewelry look at that designer there's some really nice pieces so that one was the last bundle sold for $117.50 and my cost of goods was around $15.99 the most expensive were these because I bought them for myself wore them a couple times and they sold so this is a nice little collection of sterling going going out all right this is lovely. Look at the high dome. If you find a brooch that has a high dome, definitely include it in your title. Um, I think I also sold that orange domed like bouquet brooch for I think $39.99. So yeah, and that one was unmarked. This one is marked Kramer right there in that cartouche right there. It uh, sold for $39.99. It's like a white enamel. It's not in perfect condition, but it's actually really nice. Like this is probably 1950s or 60s, most likely 60s. Uh, very flower power. And I purchased it for $12 at the antique store. This one was another uh, jewelry find. Same that I picked up from the antique store for two dollars in the two dollar bins this is actually a guilloche enamel let's zoom in here do you see that texture behind the enameling not perfect but this is a bar brooch and i don't think it says sterling it might but it did it did test as sterling um a lot of times these will test as sterling so check to see if there is a mark even on the pin or on this little like catch back here oh there we go there it says the sterling silver so yeah definitely look out for these even like um, reproductions be like Victorian style or things like that so this is a really nice little pin it sold for $29.99 and I paid two we have a just classic bonnet bangle I think I do the best with Monet bangles out of any bangles that I pick up. Bangles usually don't do well for me, but the Monet classic, like gold plated uh, bangles do well. It usually will say Monet and the size, like medium or large, an M or an L. And yeah, so this one sold for $14.99 and I picked it up for about a dollar in a shop. Go to a lot. We have this one. I actually thought this one was more like important or special than it was I think so it says somewhere where does it say oh here we go it says Dansk Smikerum <laughs> something what is it what does it say Smikekunst Smikekunst <laughs> so I think it's like Danish but it actually it like a lot of Danish jewelry can go for a ton of money. Danish modernist jewelry. But this one wasn't like one of those big woohoos, but it did sell for $25. So there's that. Very modernist. You can see um, with the, just these like geometric designs, a little rhinestone in the middle. And my cost of goods for that one was a dollar. This one's going out to a subscriber, Amy. So thank you, Amy. Oh, I forgot. I need to get the glass earrings for her but she has these necklaces so she's having a bundle of four go out for fifty dollars my cost of goods for everything in the bundle is um what did i say eleven dollars so she took a look at the video and these actually all complement each other really nicely this is the millie fiori looks like little candy in there with these bar chains lovely and it's like amber tone and then these are two together maybe we can open these hold on all right so we couldn't really see it well on this carpeting so I put it right here and yeah this is it's a set of two so this one could be more of like a choker and then this one is longer with the four beads this one you can just put over your head and this one um, has like a little bead toggle these look like a little artisan pieces and then look at this beautiful bead I think it has little green yeah little green dots in the in it and these are just lovely so these are going out along with um like these sterling sea glass jasper earrings so thank you amy 
All right, another bundle. See, here's the thing, you guys, is once you start really building your inventory, cross-posting, I use Vendu, use my link down below. Um, I absolutely love it. And I've heard, like I haven't used other cross-posting apps, but I've heard that Vendu is the best by people who have tried different cross-posting apps. So once you really start wanting to scale up your business, I definitely recommend cross-posting. It is a bit of a business expense. I'm I'm not going to lie. But the amount that you like earn just in like Poshmark sales, Mercari sales, Etsy sales, you can even cross-post to um, Facebook marketplace or whatever. It totally like pays for itself. And not only that, like the biggest thing for me as far as Vendu goes is I wanted if if like a, a platform took off all my listings and that happened in Mercari, if they like closed me down, um, eBay stopped, whatever, I would have all those listings saved. So I have like over 3,500 listings. <laughs> and so um, I did not want to start over. <laughs> so like for me to have that peace of mind that everything's saved there. My analytics, my analytics are saved. I can cross post. That to me pays for itself. So you can see, like, I have all these different Poshmark sales just in one weekend. Anyways, back to this. But you guys know I like giving you little tips here and there. What was this for? Oh, um, yeah, little tips here and there. But this is another bundle going out. This was the first time someone actually used my coupon on eBay. I have a coupon for 20% off three or more items on eBay. So this one went through. I refunded the buyer some shipping. I still need to make a bundle on eBay video for you guys. I know that you have requested it. It is confusing. I should make a video for you soon. But this is a very, like handsome bundle, I would say. We have cufflinks, a tie bar, and a Brooks Brothers tie. This tie I paid $2 for, and then maybe like a dollar each. Uh, no, this one was 25 cents, I believe. Um, oh, I wanted to show you. This brand actually does a little bit better as far as men's jewelry goes. There is a D right there for Dante. So that one is a little bit higher end, more than like Swank or Anson. Cremence is higher end for men's jewelry. Um, Pierre Cardin is higher end for men's jewelry. What else? I don't know. Some other ones. But this bundle is going out for $46.97. My cost of goods were $3.25. This was a D-list relist. I've had this for sale over a year. Right when I delisted, relisted, it sold, I would say, within a day. This one is called a uh, fish, fish, fishel, fisher, fishel, <laughs> and Nestler bar pin. This is an, an antique bar pin. So you can tell that this is an older, um, <laughs> older in my inventory item because I have like this really crinkly bag that doesn't uh, reseal. So I'm just going to put it into a different bag altogether. But I wanted to see if I could show you the back of this because it took me a while of researching before I could figure out what it was. It was a crest looking thing. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Do you see that little crest looking thing right there? That actually is for the, um, whatever I said, the fish, fishel and something. Uh, so finally that one sold. And it has really pretty, like, Art Nouveau um, designs on it. Sold for $22, paid $3 at an antique store. All right, this was a D-list, relist, sold right away. I almost was, I was going to pull it from my inventory. You guys, I actually pulled so many things, over 100 things, like stale inventory, not selling, blah, blah, blah. And just cleaning up my business you guys want to see? Let me just show you. Where where can I show you? Okay. Look at this. Right here. Oh, this whole Hulk and Big is full. Things that don't bring me joy, like tennis shoes, things that, that have been sitting. So I'm going to either like give some of them away to like family friends and donate, things like that. So yeah, I've been totally organizing my inventory. Anyways. 
This is a D-list, relist, almost pull, sold for $7.99. It is a Liberty Bell and Philadelphia souvenir pin, paid about a dollar. This one was a 10K puffy etched heart pendant. There we go. It is um it doesn't have like a ton of weight to it. So if this was like solid gold, I would got I have gotten a lot more money, but this one's a puffy one. Sold for $60 and I paid about a dollar in a shop good a lot. All right, let's go grab other orders. Who wants to see my hard good sales? The like it just brings me so much joy. This is so a stinging adorable. And my hard goods shelves are getting a little bit more full over here. So that's why I'm seeing some sales trickle in. Look at how cute this flower frog is. It's actually like a candle stick holder, like a little tulip. And then there's holes all around it. And then there's like a hummingbird enamel um, letter holder. Oh my gosh. Like just so many cool, pretty things you guys can see um so I'm really enjoying that but of course this is no source November so I am just listing what I have and <laughs> I'm not going to Goodwill right now but let's get into this one okay look at this little thing this is little but this is etched metal um one thing I do know people really love collecting their steam engine trains stuff like that this only said 99 cents on it. It says to Carol from Le Les something, so something. I did look this up. And then this is Ecclesiastes 910. They also put, oh, Seamster, right? Seamster? Les Seamster. So he did sign it right there and right there. This is like a little etched thing. I think I put more information that I found out in the actual listing. But you guys, 99 cents. This one sold for $60. <laughs> Yay! That is amazing! So that was a really fun find. And then this little turtle is going to a subscriber. I just die. This is so stinking adorable. Little pottery guy. What does it say? It says counterpoint. Made in Japan, San Francisco. And he's a little tape dispenser and he still has the tape. And that is so stinking adorable sold for $29.99 to a subscriber I paid $2.99 in a in Goodwill we are on to belts and accessories and by accessories I mean I have three scarves going out and you guys might remember that one tie also is going out in that bundle so things have been selling you guys Things have been selling. I have been like listing more belts, scarves, and shoes, and you guys are going to be able to see it. I have more than one or two pairs of shoes going out, and that's because I'm listing. I'm listing other things besides jewelry. Jewelry is so easy. You guys know most of you who follow my channel sell jewelry or collect jewelry. It's just easy. It's beautiful. It's lovely. But we have other things going out. This one was awesome. This was an Etsy sale. They did use my uh, coupon. This is a new Tags. I think this is a 1990s. Um, very equestrian, I would say. You can't see, but I think it's horses and maybe hounds and stuff. Um, very Gucci almost with this like equestrian belt look to it. Sold for $34 after coupon. Minus shipping. My earnings were... $30.19 and I got this at Goodwill for $2.99. This is silk. It does have the hand rolled edge. Actually, is it? I think so. Um, silk and yeah, definitely look out for things like that. Two scarves. I honestly, when I do scarves, now I just like picking up vintage for the most part, but these are two more modern scarves going out. This one is an H&M scarf, just orange. I got this in that Thread Up Rescue Box. It's a blanket scarf. People love their blanket scarves. They're bright. And sold for $12.99. Paid around $2 in the Thread Up Scarf um, Rescue Box. I do not recommend it. I do not make a, a bunch of I'm sorry, a bunch of money off of it at all. It is just, it is what it is. 
If you are a crafter, though, and you need fabric to craft with, that might be a good deal. At the time that I purchased it, it was $16 for a box of random scarves. And then we have this Lane Bryant scarf. It is big, chunky, pearly. I actually really like this color and this look, very feminine. It is. It does still have the tags. This one sold for $15 and I paid $2.99. These are two belts that I literally just listed a few days ago and they sold right away. This one I paid $1.50 for. It was half off. I've been trying to buy the belts that are half off now. This is a J. Crew leather like belt. It kind of has that D-ring thing going on where you put it through and then fold it over. But yeah, gold, light gold over leather. Sold for $19.99 full price. Paid $1.50. This one was actually really great because this one actually had a higher price on it. It was like a sticker and I'm being honest when I say that the sticker fell off. So by the time I got to the register, um, like I was like, I was checking the cart for where the sticker went because I couldn't find it. And then he was like, oh, I'll, I'll just scan. Like it was like a belt like this and it was $1.50 and I was like, okay, that's fine with me. <laughs> so sometimes, honestly, you guys know, sometimes cashiers are very stingy and they'll like inspect it closely and they'll say, oh, this is leather. So it's $9.99. But sometimes you get lucky. And then this time I did get lucky. This is an Allen Edmonds belt. That is definitely a Bolo brand for belts. Men's Warehouse also does really well for me. This one sold for $33 right away, and I paid $1.50 for it. Okay, you guys, we have some good shoes going out, so I will get through them. These are by the brand Sorel. Right there, you can see on the inside, they are wool lined, felt wool. They do have like a felt wool on the outside and leather. High quality, lovely. I actually own several Sorel shoes myself. I, oh, you can still see the marker. I did scrub off the marker for the price, but there's still some remnants on there. And I think I paid right there, $7.99 right there. Um, and these are in excellent shape. So these sold right away. These are perfect for the warm weather, for hiking. Sold on Poshmark for $38. I paid $7.99. Great. All right, we have these gray aerosols. I've had these forever. And when I sold mostly shoes, I would say I would probably have like 20 pairs of shoes going out um, per weekend. My earlier YouTube videos before I really started getting into jewelry um, so I would sell aerosols almost every single video. They're kind of like a bread and butter if you have a lot of shoes in your inventory. I mean, and you can buy them for like two bucks. They do sell. So these sold, I got them at the bins for around $2. They're nice, like warm, fuzzy inside. These are called a mule. So when there's no back to a shoe, it is called a slip-on mule. This right here kind of looks like a horse bit where it's connect two like D-rings connected right here. Little horse bit thing. Sold for $14.99 paid two. Usually I would get like $19.99 for my aerosols, but this one I delisted, relisted at a lower price. All right. Um, who, who is it? McThriftsy? I think it's Mackenzie at McThriftsy. She does a YouTube channel where she talks, she sells a lot of shoes as well. Um, she picks up Steve Madden boots a lot and she sells them quite often. They're very like, trendy and new so they do sell well on Poshmark so this one did sell on Poshmark these are uh, Steve Madden boots and like Steve Madden shoes each have like a style name I can't remember what these are but they often say the style name and people will look for their boots their Steve Madden boots with the style name so these sold for $36 and I picked them up at the Goodwill bins for around two or three dollars all right. These boots are made well because they are Madewells. <laughs> so if you have a Madewell purse or Madewell shoes or even Madewell clothes, for the most part, they are actually really made well. So these say made well right in there. Look at this lovely, lovely leather. These actually have a really nice, like distressed look to them. And these sold for... $55 after shipping on Mercari. 
Uh, my earnings were $45.42, and I picked them up at the Goodwill bins for around three. And what's interesting is the this one also sold for $55, same shipping price and same um, Goodwill bins cost. So these are by the brand Bronx. So these were a bins pickup. I actually thought they were going to sell faster because of the interesting style, but these have taken over a year to sell. They're just a pull-on. I think that pull-on boots are harder to sell than, say, like a side zip because side zips are easier to get on and they fit people better. Um, so, yeah. So, these finally sold. My earnings were $45.42 again. So, I actually almost, same thing, I almost was about to delist these and donate because they've been taking so long and just... Sometimes selling shoes that are not vintage sometimes selling shoes that are not vintage that like don't have a super well-known brand can be a little bit harder to sell. So yeah, finally be sold. Yay. I will put my earnings for shoes, which should be pretty good, this weekend up on the screen. All right, you guys, um, I have a question from one of the Patreon members. I also have it available. I have like a section where if you have a question that you want me to answer on a video, I can answer that. And Jennifer asked me a question, which I will answer today. It says, do you think you will transition to just selling jewelry exclusively and phase out of the other items you currently sell? Um, wouldn't that be the dream? So if you guys don't know, when I started reselling big, it was almost all shoes because they have like a pretty good return on investment. I pick them up for around $2 at the bins. But what I was finding is I didn't, when I had a newborn, I didn't have a lot of space, time, like cleaning, like all the stuff. So I just started gravitating towards jewelry and the more that I did, the more I fell in love with it, especially like I'm naturally more interested in antique and vintage things and antique stores to begin with rather than the bins. So I do prefer jewelry over other things unless it's like really fun petty point purses or cute snail tape dispensers <laughs> or things like that. Like, um, but like, Right now, I'm kind of listing all those things. I don't, I kind of have like my niche in things. I and I have things I don't really sell. I don't sell media really. I don't sell technology. I'm I don't sell books. I kind of have like my niche area, but like long term, I can see myself doing almost exclusively jewelry unless I have an antique store booth, which you guys, I'm going to be on the waiting list for. That is a surprise. Um. So that would be fun for hard goods and like jewelry and things. But uh, for right now, I'm kind of like still maintaining all the things because I know it's helping my business right now, having all these areas. And you guys saw shoe sales were awesome. Um, especially I'm fortunate enough to have the bins like a few minutes down the road for me. And uh, the cost of goods, you can't really beat it from the Goodwill bins. Not my favorite place to shop, but the cost of um, of goods is just so low. And shoes, I think, are the best thing for me to pick up there. I don't really like selling clothes, to be honest. It's too much. Basically, anything that fits in this light box, I like to list. <laughs> shoes do fine for me. And, um, but long term, like I tell my husband this all the time, when we're in like retirement age, I'm still going to be doing reselling. I love it. It's, it's a fun hobby as well as work. And you make decent money off of it, whether it's a side hustle or an income. Um, so I'm like, like I'm dreaming of being like the antique nomad where we're like nomading around the United States in a travel trailer. And I just have jewelry inventory with me. And we stop at a place for two weeks. I change where I ship from and I continue selling jewelry. Like, doesn't that sound like the best thing ever? Stay tuned and make sure you hit the subscribe button for like 40 years down the road when I'm finally in that retirement age. Well, how many years? 30, maybe 30 years. But yeah, so that sounds like a really 
awesome idea for me and we're gonna see like I I'm like I'm phasing some things and out and I'm still trying things but I fell in love with jewelry jewelry is my core main thing and I make a pretty decent income with it and obviously you guys love learning about it and I love sharing it I have I used to be a teacher so um that definitely like fills the need that I love to share and teach uh with you guys so Anyways, that, I hope that answers that, and if you guys have any more questions, go ahead and send them to me in the Patreon. I have a little link thread there. And yeah, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below, and the little bell notification so that you can be alerted for any upcoming and future videos. And as always, make sure you're out there thrifting so you guys can live generously, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.